explain to me what you just did and now what you're about to do since you've gotten your reading? Is it still going? No. So. We just zeroed the Z axis. And what did you press on the interface to, to get that info? So we got a cut. Uh -huh. Zero Z axis. And just make sure that the router is not spinning. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then okay. Cool. Right so. What about the stops? Uh yes. Yeah. Okay. Don't hit the stops, but they're there. Uh, well, you want to hit them with the stop to keep you uh, safe. From going off from the so do you mind just showing what you just did because I didn't catch it, I'm really sorry. Oh, okay. The first button is the on, pa main power on, it's behind there, okay. <laughs> and you hear the fan, oh, that's fine. And we can come here, the program you want is ShopBot 3. Not the editor, it's the one above it. No, that's for, I think, it's right. nope. It's ShopBot 3, it's right above that. So whenever you start the machine up, um, you have to set reset or else this will come up. So if you see this, it means you haven't hit reset. Yet. Okay. Hit reset, listen for the clunk. We'll start off in the preview mode. Little guy right here. That means you're gonna look at your program and not actually gonna run it. So we can load a part file. And just go ahead and pick any of them. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, it's a lot of material removal okay. on that one. And if you push up, click and then push up. Was that done in Neocad or what? Uh, you know, I believe it is actually. Yeah, you know what? It's the same um, file that we used to make the Modella milling in the uh, machinable wax. Mm. Alrighty, so now we can see our path to travel it did take a long time. Okay, so now we've got a clear view. Alright, take it away, Brian. Okay. I mean that's our viewer, so let's mm -hmm. um go into move cut mode. The little slit. Okay. Yep. Now do you want to go through the um zeroing out the axis? That'd be great. Okay. Let's move our cutter on, so hit K to move it. I'm up in the command yellow line. And okay. we want to uh, turn the cutter on. Number one in the interface on, and now we're actually hitting the green stop button, start button. And we're good to go. And we've got you can use these to move it all down to, um, just move it down to where about the X is zero. Or you can you can set your axes wherever you want. It depends on your file. You want to um, just the edge, or yeah, just the edge. Usually when I cut it, I cut out the whole sheet of plywood, so I just start my axes on the edges. But again, I run Brianware, so <laughs> 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 you know. And then you can hit Escape. And in the zero. Menu. There's a menu there called Zero. It's up in the top. You gotta go to it with the mouse, probably, or Alt Z. No, it's, uh, it's in the menu. So it's right there. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Zero the x-axis. So you zero the x-axis. Now we're zeroing the y. Pretty close. You'll have you'll have two more inches. You can get all the way to the edge. You can get all the way to the edge. Just barely.
have to you, escape will let you get out of it and then it'll turn it off. Escape then. Uh, the Y axis. Zero Y. Zeroing the Z axis, we hit K so that we can move it, then the manual start button. And escape. Escape. Now to the cuts menu. So we won't hit that. Well, you hit OK now. We just want to okay. turn Okay. Okay. And then hit OK, and it should come down. And make sure, but you make sure the plate's underneath there. But we've already done that, so it's OK. Okay. from here, Bry, in the interface, what needs to be done, or is it all ready to go at this point? At this point, it would be, uh, well, at this point, it would be ready to go. Mm -hmm. um, if we had a file if loaded? We had, 